Oh, oh, mercy on us. There's been a terrible accident. And oh, April Fool. <laughs> you got me, you April. Oh, happy Groundhog's Day, everybody. Yippee! I saw my shadow. And you know what that means. We know, Pookie. Twelve oh, more days, days of Christmas. Oh, isn't it exciting? Well, I'll be upstairs. I've got presents to wrap. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. <laughs> ah, spring. The fresh air, the flowers. Hey, Arnold, smell my boot, Denier. <laughs> <laughs> April Fool. <laughs> Good one, Grandpa. Funny. Oh, I'm sorry, Arnold. I couldn't resist. No more jokes now. Eat your egg. Rubber eggs! April Fools! Grandpa. <laughs> oh, come on, short man. It's April Fools Day. Don't you want to play a prank on someone? No, thanks, Grandpa. I'm, I'm not really into the April Fools jokes. Oh, that's crazy talk, Arnold. Everyone loves April Fools. Let's see here. Oh, here it is. The granddaddy of all April Fools pranks. Try this one on your little classmates today, Arnold. I used it on my friend Jimmy Kafka. Told him it was a late birthday present. But when you open it, a blinding light goes off. It's a rock. <laughs> no thanks, Grandpa. I just don't think anybody at school is really into April Fool's Day. <laughs> April Fool's! <laughs> April Fool's? What? April Fool's? Oh. <laughs> Good one, Sheena. Wow, I guess everyone's really into April Fool's Day. No kidding, Arnold. We gotta get in on this action. I don't know, Gerald. I'm just not really into it. I I'm too... I know. Trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind. In fact, you're the perfect target for an April Fool's joke. <laughs> April Fool's football head. <laughs> Good one, Hilda. Get used to it, bucko, because you're going to get it all day long. <laughs> Surgeons, quiet. Please, settle down. I have some very serious news. Your beloved teacher, Mr. Simmons, is no longer with us because he was run over by an enormous steamroller. Ah! He's gone! It's his ghost! Ooh. April Fools, everybody! It's not my ghost! It's just me! <laughs> that was so lame! Thank you, Principal Wards, for their very special introduction. Let's make it an annual tradition, Mr. Simmons. Carry on. Oh, class, we're having our first annual April Fool's Dance tonight at the YMAA Gym. Principal Wards and I will both be there as chaperones, and I'll be crowning one lucky student the King of Fools. Eugene, would you mind distributing the flyers? I'd be honored. I really hope you'll all come and vote for me. I think I'd make a wonderful King of Fools. Ow. I'm okay. Hey, Arnaldo, pick up my pencil. <laughs> oh, no, farted! <laughs> April Fool's football head. <laughs> well, I could have said, this school's just chock full of pranks. I know. This room is tough. We gotta think up a prank that beats them all. Or be a shame. Yeah, a huge whopping super prank. Hey, what if we pulled one at the big dance and Mr. Simmons is going on about? That's a great idea, Sid. Tonight, where everybody could see. Now all we gotta do is think up a prank. Maybe we could do something involving my pet turtle, Snappy. He's a pass all laughs. laughs. Careful, Sid. He really bites. <laughs> I hope Helga's finished playing April Fool's jokes on me. April Fool's football head. <laughs> Look at him, what a loser. <laughs> Time to change your diaper, Arnold. Oh, 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 oh. Arnold, she's gonna be at it all day. She said so herself. Face it, man, it is time to retaliate. You're right, I'll be back. <laughs> Hello, Grandpa. Hello, Acme Plumbing. Huh? Oh, sorry, I must have... April Fools! <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> Sorry, 
sorry, short man. I couldn't resist. You're just a perfect straight man. Not anymore. I'm calling because I've decided to take you up on your offer after all. A special offer? Sorry, we're not buying any today. Thank you. Goodbye. But Grandpa. April Fool's, Arnold. <laughs> I can't stop. Listen, I'm serious. Remember that little gift box you showed me this morning? Of course I do. It's the granddaddy of all April Fool's pranks. <gasps> Oh, don't tell me. Do you want to use it on someone? That's right. I, 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 I can't believe it. Oh, this is wonderful. Hold that thought, Arnold. Don't weaken. I'll be right down. Hey, Grandpa. Bring me an extra pair of pants. Yeah, done. Ready to try it, Mr. I'm not really into April Fool's Day. Can I just have the box, please, Grandpa? Put that on your pen. Turn around. It's chocolate pudding. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Old pudding pads. Who did it? Let me guess. Your little friend with the one eyebrow. Helga, right. Can I have the box? Wait till she gets a load of this. She'll be the one needing an extra pair of pants. <laughs> and speaking of which, here's yours. Uh, Grandpa, those are your pants. April Fools. Good luck, short man. <laughs> Right here, Helga. And I have a present for you. <laughs> Get real football head. Like there's any way I'm falling for that old gag. It isn't a gag. It's a belated birthday present. Yeah, right. And I'm Mary, Queen of Scots. I'm serious, Helga. I mean, your birthday was last week, right? Oh my gosh! I can't believe he remembered! Yeah, so? So, happy belated birthday. Oh, Arnold, my beloved. You're so kind and good. I solemnly swear I'll never play another prank on you again. Well, uh, gee, Arnold, thanks. Ah! April Fools. Help! Help! I'm blind! You have to be if you didn't see that one coming. No, you morons! I am really blind! It's like Mr. Simmons always says. Horseplay leads to tears. So give it to me straight, lady. Am I gonna make it or not? You'll be just fine, Helga. Fortunately, your blindness is only temporary. You should be back among the sighted any second now. Hey, what do you know? I'm cured! <laughs> well, thanks for the miracle. I'll catch you later. Not so fast, Helga. Before I can let you go, you have to promise me you'll be more careful. Me? But this whole thing was Arnold's fault. Him and his lousy April Fool's prank. I can't even believe I trusted him. Either way, I want you to ease up on the tomfoolery. The last thing we need is for you to wind up with a permanent eye injury. It would be devastating for you and your little football-headed friend. Wait a minute. That's a great idea. I mean, that's great advice. From now on, Careful's gonna be my middle name. You can count on it. <laughs> oh, man. This is gonna be so boss. I'll pull the biggest April Fool's prank of all by pretending to still be blind. And Arnold, sentimental sucker that he is, will feel so guilty and responsible, he'll have no choice but to be my slave, my servant, my seeing eye dog. I'll totally torture him. Now all I gotta do is sell it. Perfect. Boy, howdy. She's been in there a long time. Bet you must feel pretty guilty right about now, huh, Arnold? Oh, way to state the obvious, Sid. Helga, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine, you know, except for the fact that I'm still blind. <gasps> Helga, I'm so sorry. Arnold? Arnold, is that you? It's so dark. Yes, it's me. So, what did the nurse say? I mean, how long is this thing gonna last? You mean my complete and utter lack of eyesight? Oh, you know, maybe an hour. Maybe forever. Ooh. 
Well, is there anything I can do? Well, actually, there is. You could walk me home. I figure I should break the sad news to my poor parents as soon as possible. Sure, no problem. Great, I'll go get my things. Oh. That is the saddest thing I have ever seen. Tell me about it. Now she's even more pathetic than ever. I was talking about Arnold. The poor guy could be indebted to Helga G. Pataki for the rest of his life. Ow! 